stunts problem we're trying to coordinate a stunt in which a car is supposed to clear an open drawbridge so the picture is the, is the following so we have a gap and there's some maybe, uh, water down here and then there's a drawbridge that allows cars to go over this bridge when it's closed and when it's closed we're told that this distance is 150 feet and when it's open, it opens up to a maximum of a 35 degree angle on both sides. So they won't, these two angles are 35 de degrees. And we're asked, how far must the stunt car be able to jump in order to clear this gap? So if you think of a little stunt car trying to clear the gap from one side to the other, how far is this distance here? Well, we only use a trig relationship, so we need to use some triangles. So I think we can see parts of a couple triangles here. In fact, if we draw down, we know that there's one triangle on the left side that has a 35 degree angle, and then there's another triangle on the right side, also 35 degree angle, and both these are right triangles. Now, because this drawbridge closes at a total distance of 150 feet, and then we're told that um, these are equal sides, that must mean that the lengths of the hypotenuse of each one of these triangles is half of 150 feet. So this must be length 75 feet, and this also must be length 75 feet. Now we have to figure out how to determine the gap. Well, we know the total distance from here to here is 150 feet. So if you want to figure out what this gap is, it's enough to figure out what this distance is, which is going to be exactly the same as this distance, and then add those together and subtract it from 150 feet. So the gap will equal 150 feet minus 2 times x. Now the question is, is what is the value of x? Well, if you look at our angle, the sides of the triangle that we know relative to this angle are the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, which means that if you want to find x, we want to use the cosine of the angle. So the cosine of 35 degrees is going to be the adjacent side, x, over 75. Multiplying both sides by 75 gives us that x equals 75 times the cosine of 35 degrees. So now that we know x, we know the gap is going to be 150 feet minus 2 times 75 cosine of 35 degrees. And because we're measuring the distances in feet, we're, we know this gap is going to be also have the units of feet.